I'm Mariam Namazi with the top stories on Al Jazeera. It's been another bloody day inside Iraq. Attacks across the country have killed at least 50 people and wounded another 140. It happened as people were meeting to break their Ramadan fast. Basra, Kut, Mosul and the capital Baghdad have all been hit. Jane Araf has this update from Baghdad. There have been bombs in coffee shops, bombs in mosques, bombs in markets, all of them aimed at getting the maximum number of people. And at this point, it doesn't seem to matter whether they're Shia or Sunni. The main intent here seems to cause as much chaos, destabilization, and worry on the part of the Iraqi people that their security forces can't protect them. Almost two weeks since Mohammed Morsi was deposed, his supporters remain defiant, with mass rallies refusing to die down. And there's still division over the timetable for the political transition. The Al Nur Party, a political wing of the conservative religious Salafi movement, says it wants parliamentary elections held before the constitution is amended. The alternative is that those who should be in charge of correcting the situation and putting it back in order is the Egyptian people and people's will. This could be achieved through parliamentary elections that will produce a parliament that can say it represents the will of the Egyptian people and can lead us out of this crisis through the avenue of public voting. Tension between rival opposition groups fighting in Syria is escalating, with one al-Qaeda linked group telling Al Jazeera it wants to cleanse the opposition group, the Free Syrian Army. Al Jazeera Zayna Khoda has more from Bab al-Hawa in Syria. After speaking with the top leadership of the Free Syrian Army, it is clear that they are in a difficult position. They keep stressing that they want to avoid internal fighting because that would just weaken them in their fight against the regime. The FSA has not declared war on the Al-Qaeda-linked groups, at least not yet. But some believe those groups have already started to work to weaken the FSA. Those are your headlines on Al Jazeera. I'm Mariam Namazi. Bye for now. Gotta go to Moe's. Gotta go to Moe's. Gotta go to Moe's. Moe's. Gotta go to Moe's.